Hi, this is Dr. Don, the creator of Rocket Math, and here's a short explanation of how to tutor with Rocket Math. For the first step in setting up the program, you'll need to make a folder for your student. You'll find these in the Forms and Information drawer under Forms for every student. You will staple a rocket chart on the front of the folder. Inside, staple a goal sheet on the left, and on the right, an individual student graph. Voila! You now have a student folder. Next, you must decide what operation you intend to teach to your student. Generally, begin with addition in first grade and second grade, and subtraction after addition is mastered. Starting in third grade, multiplication has priority, even if addition and subtraction are not mastered. Division comes after multiplication has been mastered. Depending on how well you know your math facts, it might be a good idea to make an answer key booklet. If you have two children working with each other, it is essential. You find a practice answers A to Z booklet under answer keys within each operation. Make these by printing out the practice answers A to Z booklet on a distinctive color of paper and stapling it into a packet. Next, print out the writing speed test found in the forms and information drawer under forms for every student. Then on the first day, give this one minute writing speed test. You're going to take the information of how many boxes completed from the writing speed test and transfer it to the goal sheet. Here's the goal sheet. Remember, you put it inside the student's folder. On the goal sheet, highlight the row with the student's writing speed test results. That row gives you your student's individualized goal for the one minute daily test. Now let's talk about the daily setup and practice routines you'll do. Here's the daily setup routine. One, get out the student folder, which should have the right practice sheet for the day. Two, congratulate their student if they passed their previous set. Three, let them color in the rocket chart for the level they passed. Now you're ready to begin practicing. Here's the daily practice routine. Step one, have the student practice with you. Two, have the student take the one minute timing. Here's the daily after practice routine. Step one, have the student fill in the date of this try on their rocket chart. Step two, evaluate to see if the student passed. If they had no errors and they met their individualized goal for the one minute timing from the goal sheet, then they passed. Next, print the next lettered set from the website. If they didn't pass, print the same sheet again to practice tomorrow. Daily practice is what makes rocket math work. The daily practice is verbal practice with the student reading the problems around the outside of the worksheet and then saying answers aloud from memory as they go. By saying the whole fact and the answer aloud each time, the student strengthens their memory of the whole verbal chain. Eventually, they can't help but remember it, just like a popular advertising slogan. Let me repeat, daily oral practice is what makes rocket math work, not the tests. The daily practice is corrected practice, and it's essential that the tutor either knows the answers or has the answer key packet on colored paper, and the packet is turned to the matching page. While the student is practicing, all hesitations or errors are immediately corrected by the tutor. Once a student has read the problem aloud, they should have already thought of the answer, so no hesitation is allowed. If the student hesitates or makes an error, the tutor follows a specific three-step correction or teaching procedure. One, the tutor interrupts to state the problem and the correct answer. Two, the tutor has the student repeat the problem and the correct answer three times. Three, then the student backs up three problems on the worksheet to give it another try. Four days a week, the student and tutor follow the daily practice routine and do the daily one-minute timing. One day a week, the student should do the two-minute timing. This monitors progress, and the student should graph their weekly results on the individual student graph inside their folder. If this is going up, it is proof that the student is learning. Here are some interventions for students who are stuck. Remember, these students don't need anything different. They just need more practice. One, make sure the student is not stopping during the test to erase or look at the clock or count on their fingers etc. Two, do another two to three minute practice session daily or two sessions. That will help kids get over the hump if they're stuck. Three, 
Just make sure to have at least 30 minute break between practice sessions. Four, have students orally practice the tests also. The test facts are somewhat different than the practice facts. What to expect from rocket math? Students should be able to pass each set within two to five days if they are placed correctly or start at the beginning of an operation. If they're practicing correctly saying the problem and the answer. If tutors are correcting hesitations as well as errors. If the writing speed test was used to set goals. And if students who need it get extra practice sessions daily. More help is available at our website.